It is about 8 a.m. in the morning. It is a Sunday morning and I am in my robe right now because I am just waiting to weigh myself right before I eat. Now we are transitioning to a little too bad day because I do plan on going really hard at the gym. So if you happen to still upon this channel, I lost over 110 pounds on my weight loss journey. And last year I started OMAD as a tool to help me stop binge eating. I was overeating due to being in chronic pain and just my life being a mess after getting into a car accident. It was my way of coping. I need to work out to be happy. It's like physical activity makes me happy. When I can't work out, when I can't move, if I'm injured, I get really depressed. It's just my personality. So exercise is literally my antidepressant. It is essential to me. I will always like to exercise. So um, I put on a bunch of weight, tried this OMAD thing, lost about 60 pounds with OMAD, and my overall weight loss transformation was this. I did the majority keto OMAD, but for the last couple of months I did regular OMAD. I did carbs, I did junk food OMAD, I did the whole lot. So that's a little rundown on my story. I am just documenting my journey. I'm sharing with you tips on how to lose weight as well. So if you're interested in learning how to lose weight in a different way, using the metabolic switch, things like keto, fasting, or just the normal calorie counting way, make sure you smash that subscribe button and come join the fam. I'm really passionate about helping people lose weight because I know the feeling of being stuck at an unhealthy weight for years in to overcome that feeling and to prove to yourself that you can overcome that demon is just a feeling that I want everyone to feel who've, who've ever struggled with being obese or feeling unhealthy or unconfident about their body. I want everyone to feel that. So I'm really passionate about this stuff. Anyway, um, sorry, I'm very mucusy right now. So when I do my two bads, I am conscious of how many calories I eat in the morning. However, I don't count it to my calorie total because I will see results anyway. Because basically when you eat early in the morning, right now it's 8 o'clock a.m., your body just burns through the fuel. It just burns through that. So you eat early in the morning and then you don't eat until the evening, you'll still lose weight. But you have to be cognizant of how many calories you do eat in the morning. For me, I can get away with eating 600 calories or less and I'll still see a drop in the scale in the evening. So yes, I'm fueling my body with, um, I'm gonna have some spaghetti bolognese that I made the other day, so freaking good. Um, I use this organic pasta from Italy, oh, amazing, with four eggs. I'm getting in my carbs in the morning. My evening meal will be a low carb keto-like meal. There will be no carbs, Every, all, meaning that I will get all my carbs from vegetables. So that's how I'm doing it. I'm having carbs early in the morning so my body could just use it up in the gym. And then I'm fasting all day until about five o'clock, six o'clock. And then I'm having my final meal. So that's how I'm doing things. I still keep track of the last time I ate. I ate at 6.30 p.m. So that's fine. I will still include that like kind of as a fasting window, but I'm not really fasting, but I'm eating just to kind of keep my brain on track because then tomorrow I'll be jumping back into OMAD as tomorrow I'll be doing cardio. And when I do cardio, I like to do OMAD. So I found this as a happy medium to help support my body while I'm at the gym, burning that muscle and to help me still stick to OMAD and lose weight because I just love OMAD. It just makes life easier. So we are moving along. Anyway, I'm gonna get this meal ready and then I'm gonna go to the gym. So I'll show you guys my meal. All right, this is what my body's craving, don't ask. This is 280 grams of spaghetti bolognese and four eggs. I will total up the calories after I eat. Pre-workout meal or my first meal of the day, AKA my two mad meal. All right, I'm all showered and dressed and ready to go. I'm gonna tell you my calories for my last meal and my first meal of the day. I finished it about an hour ago. I had 621 calories, 36 grams of fat, 38 grams of carbs, and 48 grams of protein. 
I do love that protein number. That is great. So that's my first two mad meal. And I'll just burn right through it during my workout. Guys, I'm struggling. I don't wanna go to the gym right now. I just have this feeling of laziness and my knee is starting to hurt me a bit, which is slightly frustrating because I did have the Hyalonic therapy shot or the Hyalonic acid shot into my joint. And I'm having all sorts of anxieties and feels like, will this ever gonna be fixed? Are the doctors actually gonna listen to me and perhaps give me surgery? Um, basically, my VMO, which is the inner quad, wasted away on my left leg. And it also wasted away, not just the VMO, but other parts. So I really gotta focus on building muscle, which is why I'm trying to do this too mad thing. When I get to a weight that I'm happy with, I'm gonna be like eating more, like, like a regular looking kind of diet. But I just wanna get the weight down but I want to build muscle at the same time. So I'm feeling slightly defeated, but I know in life you'll face many defeats, but you must not be defeated. You just have to put one foot in front of the other and trust the process. It has not been easy dealing with this car accident. It has not been easy recovering. It's been really stressful, but God gives his toughest battles to his strongest warriors. Now, mind you, I don't want to diminish what I've gone through, but there are people going through way more, worse things right now and around the world. I get that. We all have our crosses to bear. We all have our battles to fight. And I'm just hoping me sharing my story gives you the courage to show up for yourself at some capacity, even if it's painful. Show up for you. Anyway, we're gonna go make this gym thing happen. interesting workout I'm at 958 calories burnt but who knows how accurate it is but the power of the mind is I'm gonna say it's accurate we all know it's not accurate but whatever I am in a mood in a half <laughs> I'm PMSing really badly like I just didn't want to make eye contact with anyone I don't want to deal with people's mannerisms it's about 70 or 80 percent of communication is done by body language. So I'm like, I don't want to look at anyone. Don't want to deal with anyone. <laughs> and then I feel so bad because this guy, I had my phone propped up to film this exercise and it fell. And I was just like, not looking at him. I was just waiting for him to be done. <laughs> I made like no eye contact. I'm just in the mood. Don't take it personally. I just, I'm just in the mood. It's probably just all the stresses I'm going through right now. But I showed up at the gym and I'm super proud of myself for being here. 
and showing up through all this bullshit, even with my knee starting to act up, but it is what it is. Anyway, I'm gonna go finish up this warm up and I'll catch up with you guys in the car. All right, my meal post-workout after I rested for a few hours. So we have 128 grams of ground turkey and 124 grams of cauliflower rice. I'm gonna go devour this. I'm exhausted. <laughs> All right, future Daniela here. So later that night, I ended up having some keto bread with some peanut butter, and I ended off the night with some sugar-free jello with a bunch of peanut butter. And on that day, I had a total of 1,548 calories. Now I would tell you the macros, but I don't feel like doing the math. I did order my new phone today, so that should be getting in very, very soon, hopefully, because it's just annoying not having a fully functioning phone for multiple reasons. So yeah, trust me guys, I've been going through it. It's been a really, really hard battle trying to stick to a routine post life after OMAD, but I think I've come up with a solution and I, going back to old school Daniela, old school Daniela was organized. Old school Daniela had calendar. She had everything like planned. And it's just been hard these last couple of months, but just because it's hard doesn't mean I give up. Like I can't make excuses. Even though there are legitimate reasons for anyone to quit, I refuse to quit. You just have to have the mindset of to keep going on. Like I'm really at the point where I'm sick and tired and I'm frustrated with myself because I know I can do better. I lost this weight in way more pain than I'm in right now. Yes, I have a neck warmer on my neck right now. My neck is just acting up after the gym. And like, I'm like in so much more pain than I was and I made a tremendous amount of progress. I can do it right now. Yes, I had a hiccup with the stupid steroid shot, throwing everything off. Yes, I have not been sticking to my calories. Yes, things have been tough. Yes, my muscles are so crazy that it just increases my hunger. You guys will see this play out in the next couple of vlogs, but I am no longer doing two mats. There's just, it just can't work. On the days I work out, I'm going to eat throughout the day to support my body. Now I'm doing every other day OMAD. I'm still doing alternate day OMAD. Today is the first day in a long time that I've been able to actually stick to OMAD. And why is that? I just did the things I did in the past. I started drinking black coffee again. That really helped. I had some pickle juice, I had some apple cider vinegar, I had some tea, I had my electrolyte drink. I'm just going back to old school Daniela. It's been, you know, you'll lose your way plenty of times on this weight loss journey. Anyway, I'm not gonna mumble and ramble on for hours, um, but if you made it this far into the video, I appreciate you so much. Just drop in a bunch of yellow emojis, yellow for hope, because when you have hope now, the future seems easier like you know hope is like an investment in the future and it makes things just a little more motivating when you're when you can see yourself succeeding and I see myself succeeding the quote was hope brings power to the present moment something like that I say it in a vlog coming up and I am sending you guys mad love Never give up on yourself, guys. It's going to be tough. The holidays are around the corner, but you can be successful around the holidays. Last year, before Christmas, I hit Wonderland, okay? I hit Wonderland. So hang in there. We can do this, and I'll probably be dropping a little mini holiday series just to help you guys keep on track that you can lose weight during the holidays. You just have to learn how to plan and be smart about it and yes you can enjoy your food during the holidays there's no need to restrict during thanksgiving there's no need to restrict during um christmas and any other holiday you may celebrate you can lose weight i did it last year and i'm gonna show you guys how to do it anyway send you guys my love take care bye